The title of the book is Philo's Trinity, a starting revelation of the past. This is a challenge that I'm making out to all Trinitarians, whether they have a doctorate, a master's, a bachelor's, or they're simply Christians who study the Bible. I challenge any and all Trinitarians to prove that Philo of Alexandria was not the originator of the Trinity doctrine. I challenge you. I've been on internet, on YouTube, for more than six years. I keep saying five, I don't know why. But for more than six years, I've been on, on YouTube teaching that Philo's Trinity is what gave us the Catholic Trinity and the Protestant Trinity. And I've also made a lot of videos to prove that Protestants Protestants are lying when they say it's a biblical doctrine. And Catholics are a little bit more honest because they're saying, yeah, we developed the Trinity and we use pagan philosophy. At least they're admitting that, but they're not telling us where they got it. They got it from Philo of Alexandria. And so I, again, I challenge any and all Trinitarians, whether they, they be learned scholars or just simple Christians, prove me wrong that the Philo's Trinity is not true, that Philo did not give us the Trinity. Prove me wrong. I challenge you because no one will be able to do it. I know I have my facts down correctly and even there's been uh, PhDs or doctors who tell me, I read Philo, but I didn't see anything. No, because you're blind. If you pray to God and ask for God to show you, it's there. It's there. If you want to know, it's there. If you don't have the desire to know and you want to keep your doctrine of the Trinity, then you're, gonna, you're not going to see anything. You're going to be blind like the Pharisees were blind. The true origin of the Trinity comes from Philo of Alexandria. Philo of Alexandria was a first century Jewish Greek philosopher. He used allegorical applications to interpret the Old Testament. Philo placed wisdom with the Logos, giving us a second God. Philo in Early Christian Literature by David T. Runia. The fathers loved Philo's ideas. Philo's writings were popular among the Apostolic Fathers, including Ignatius of Antioch. Philo's writings were accepted by the Anti-Nicene Fathers, including Justin Martyr. Clement of Alexandria quoted Philo 300 times. Ambrose quoted him 600 times. So what did Philo believe? The theories that gave the Fathers the Trinity. He taught that wisdom and logos were one and the same, yet distinct. He taught that the reason of God was separate than God. And he also quoted Genesis 1.26, Let us make man in our image as God speaking to two other creators. Philo gave to us the three persons. Incredibly, it was Philo who referred to God as being three persons. These persons were equal. Theophilus of Antioch, the first Antinicene father to quote the Trinity, it is wrote in his writings that the three days which were before the luminaries were a type of the Trinity. He took this from Philo. Philo's Logos was the pagan Greek Logos. Philo was using the Greek pagan Logos as the second God. Philo referred to the persons as beings. And Philo, along with many Greek philosophers, quoted and said that God came from God and light from light. This was taken up and placed in the Nicene Creed of 325 AD. What does the Catholic Church say about Philo? Philo alone is fully known to us. His writings are as extensive as those of Plato or Cicero and throw light on every aspect of his doctrine. From him we can best learn the theory of the Logos, as was developed by Alexandrian Judaism, the New Advent Catholic Encyclopedia, The Logos Online, 2016. Where did Philo get his trinity? 
While Philo was meditating, his own soul told him that in the one living and true God there were two supreme and primary powers. He was a great mystic, and Blavatsky, being a Satanist, quoted and said in her writings that Philo was unmatched for centuries by all mystics.